The venue was great. The theatre is one of many theatres in the UK that really need attention. They really need um, people that have, their livelihoods depend on artists like us performing. Um, so me performing here um, at this venue is an important step for bringing more live music throughout the UK in different theatres and different venues. And that's one of the reasons I was here. Ben Osborne was the organiser. He was the one that brought us all together. And originally it was just going to be a straight Q&A. And uh, I suggested, you know what, let's just make it an event. Let's make some music to it. This is what it's all about. Oh, right, okay. Um, how's the industry coping I feel that the music industry, the entertainment industry, is, it's, it depends on what country that you're in. Some areas, are, like in Germany, I heard that they have more music going out there, more musicians going out there now, but we're still in the very early stages. So my job now is to kind of push and get more promoters and agents out there here, um, taking the risk and, and, and actually um, monitoring, okay, how we, we, we deal with this virus, but then so that musicians like myself can go out there and still perform to audiences. That's an important factor. And um, also the fact is, I think that we're separated a lot in different cities. Every, every different city has their own way of organizing things. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm working on I call it a world domination type of project. I have an album with Bill Shaw from Shack Attack, if you know the group. It's a smooth jazz album, which I've been working on. It's a long time, but it, we managed to get together finally through the lockdown period. Um, I've been working on a film for the last eight years, Flashback. I've just finished another film about St. Lucia, which is a documentary. Both of those are documentaries. And I have three other musical projects, which are all coming out later this year. Uh, and there's some other things that people have involved me in. Um, <clears throat> for example, I'm on a documentary on Friday and a documentary next in August as well. I've forgotten all about that. And um, so it's been very, very busy, but um, I prefer it that way. And so tell us a little bit more <coughs> about your uh, documentary flashback and how is it relevant today? Flashback is really relevant today because we're part of this Black Lives movement, which Really, Flashback is in the centre of that because it illustrates so much British black music talent that's been overlooked so much, so strongly. Um, I'm being a part of that, but for me, the quest was so many people that influenced me from Britain that have a black or black origin or you know different mixed bands, whatever. We all influence each other, we're a rainbow tribe, and I just felt that flashback needed to be done. It was an important thing. I've done about 100 interviews over 600, 700 hours, and it's not from the turn of the century till the 21st century. So it's very wide specs from soul, jazz, funk, house, rap, hip hop, drum and bass. There's a huge magnitude of um, music that derives from the UK that it goes out worldwide on the international level. I wanted to show that British black music on an international level is very, very strong and that we need to honour the artists who have contributed.